Hello again, this is Jeff Robertson with Penton Audio USA and this is a quick tutorial video on how to actually map and scale your front panel knobs on your UAP digital signal processor to any volume or fader or level controller within your design. So let's get started. I'm going to pull up a design here. I've actually pulled this one out of my little demo unit. Here. And what I want to do is I want to go to my output. I've got a message player so I can actually generate some internal audio and send it out through output one on my output module D. Here are my faders. I just double clicked. Well, I'll show you. I just double click on the module to open up to get to all the elements and the mute buttons and the meters and all and the indicators. And this is the fader that I actually want to control with a front panel knob. And let's just say I want to put it on my very last knob on my unit, which will be knob number eight. So what I want to do, while I'm disconnected, you can see up here, I am not connected. So I am going to highlight whatever button I want. Here's the fader, and I will right-click on it to bring up the properties menu. And I go down to control. And I can see right now it's not mapped to any control, or else there'd be a check mark here. So the controls I have are analog in. Um, if I had previous controls, I could clear them out by saying none. Or I go down to my unit, and my actual UAP is labeled demo UAP G2. And here are all my analog controls and my front panel knobs. Just remember that you have 16 control inputs on any UAP. Uh, you only see channels 9 through 16 because these are the ones that are set up in the initial configuration for analog. 1 through 8 are obviously set up for TTL logic. Now I could set all 16 up for analog or all 16 up for TTL logic or any combination thereof. But only the analog map controls and configure controls will show up here in this window. And here are my front panel knobs 1 through 8. So all I have to do is click on this to enable it. And there we go. As you notice, this grayed out. So if I went back in here, right click, and you notice the controls highlighted, and I go down, and I can see that front panel knob 8 is indeed in, um, selected. One important fact to remember about the front panel knobs, it's a great feature, is I can map, we'll go back to this control, multiple controls from a single knob. See, I can map that one, and I can go to this control if I want, and we'll go to front panel knob. So there you go. So I could actually set it up and just to look at it and verify it so you can see knob 8 could actually control all three of these outputs. Um, I'll go and clear these out just to show you how to do that. Highlight and click none. And you notice that it goes back to its normal highlighting. And I'll click none there and notice it goes back to its normal shade. Being able to control multiple inputs or outputs or level controls from a single knob is helpful. It's useful when you have stereo inputs and you want to control both the right and left channels if they're occupying two inputs with a single knob. Also, if you just happen to have multiple zones or outputs or multiple speaker zones, paging zones, or amplifiers feeding a given area, and you want to control multiple outputs with one knob, that's a good way to do it as well. So keep that in mind when you're doing your designs. We have mapped that knob to that output. So if I go up here, and since I mapped it, I will compile. All right, so what we need to do now is I said we've, we've mapped this to this fader so we actually um, I'm not physically connected to it so I can't really move anything as you see I'm moving the knob but you don't see anything with the fader so what I'm going to do is I am going to compile there we go and we'll store the design into the machine there we go we are ready to go now if I open this up I will put this over here I'll leave my cursor right here but just take a look at this fader and I am just going to reach over here with my knob Turn it all the way down, and now I'll just bring it all the way up, and there we go. Now, if we look at what we have here on the the, the uh, measurements, I can't highlight because it's on third-party control, but you can see these are set for zero. The not the faders as it go is negative 60, all the way up to positive 20. Well, it's the same on this one. So this is negative 60 all the way up to positive 20. Well, that's not really useful because you would almost turn the knob up halfway before you really started hearing any difference and the, and the whole bottom third of the travel wouldn't do anything it'd be muted out anyway so what we need to do is scale it so we have verified that the knob does indeed control the output that we want but we just got to fix the uh, scale so let me disconnect and what we want to do is go look at all of our analog controls that we mapped in our design and we do that by going to the view window and down to analog 
from the analog I'll put this up so we can go through it together I have my unit because remember you can have up to 12 units in a single system and this is only one my demo and I'm saying what channel do I want to look at now here's all of my TTL logic and analog controls channels 1 through 16 for my inputs and I also got front panel knobs 1 through 8 so let me go to 8 and I just want to mess with the thing that's actually mapped to front panel 8, eight. So my demo unit, it's on output card D. Remember, there's output module D right there. ID 1, that is actually, it's highlighted right there to show the one I'm talking about because that's the one I'm wired to. It's a level control. That's what the element I'm doing with it. And it's input 1, uh, which you don't have to really worry about. That's just the input to the module as well. Um, and then the band outputs, there's no output module or anything on this. It's actually an input into the module to go out. But here are my key things. I have my minimum and maximum. This is your scale. So... A really good minimum scale might be, let's just say, negative 30. That's a good one. Negative 40, negative 30. That's pretty much muted. And my maximum, let's just say I don't need them to go up to full 20 because that's clipping some amplifiers. Or maybe it's just way too loud in the bar or the restaurant or the zone that you're doing. And so through your measurements and everything like that in your setup, you, you deem that I think positive 12 will do me fine. So there you go. Also, over here in the type, and that's... This is just showing you what you've entered over here in this window for type. You've got linear travel, logarithmic travel, or anti-logarithmic travel. Uh, usually nine times out of ten, the logarithmic channel or travel will work fine, and, and it's what I like to use. But have fun. Experiment with linear travel and see what works best for you. So there we go. All this is done. You don't need to do anything more than just make those changes, and away you go. So we will compile again. All right. And we will store. My LEDs are flashing. All right, and we are ready to go. Now, just to make sure that this thing is doing what it should do, let me just go ahead and open this puppy up. And if we turn this all the way up, we can see here it says 11.9 because I said 12 dB. And we bring it all the way down, it says negative 30 dB. So I do have my scale set up right. So let's turn this thing in. Let's make sure this thing is actually doing the output like it should. And what I'm going to do here is just play a message. Um, we have tutorial videos for actually setting up the message player and scheduling events and loading WAV files, so make sure you check those out. But I'm just going to use this for quick exp explanatory and demonstration purposes. All right, here's my no smoking message. I am going to play this, and I've got the knob set right at halfway, so we're set at 7 dB or se you know plus 7, so let's see what it does. Welcome to Mercy Hospital. We are a I'll turn it down. For the health of our patients. Turn it all the way up. Smoking is not permitted. There you go. That's It's that easy to set up your front panel knobs and map them to any level control. Please have fun. Experiment. Thank you once again for choosing Atis and Penton USA. Thank you and have a great day.